Where's Rodney? By Carmen Bogan, illustrated by Floyd Cooper. <coughs> Where's Rodney? Rodney, where's Rodney? Once again, Rodney wasn't in his seat, and Miss Garcia had had enough. But Rodney had interesting, had interesting things to do, like watch a big black bird soar over the cafeteria that smelled like yesterday's lunch, or catch a tiny pill bug creeping across the windowsill. He stood on his tippy toes to find the stray dog that bullied the neighborhood. Rodney was inside, but he wanted to go outside. Outside was where Rodney always wanted to be. <coughs> Miss Garcia let out a long, deep breath. <sighs> she stepped beside Rodney and tapped him on the shoulder. Rodney, join the class. The word of the week is majestic, Miss Garcia said. Majestic. Can you tell us what it means? Rodney looked around the classroom. There were a million eyes looking back. Nope. Miss Garcia took another deep breath. Rodney balanced on one foot like a pink flamingo. Sue Lynn giggled and covered her mouth. Then he hopped into the air like a cricket. Cody chuckled. Then Rodney stretched out his arms like an eagle soaring high above the sit down, Rodney, Miss Garcia said. The whole class roared with laughter. Okay, majestic means grand and beautiful, Rodney. If you can't do your, home, your work, you won't be able to go on the field trip to the park on Friday. But Rodney didn't care. He knew all about the park. It was a small, triangle-shaped patch of yellow grass next to a corner store in the bus stop. It had one large cupboard, trash can, and two benches where some grown-ups sat all day long. Yes, Rodney knew about the park well. Anyway, Mama said to stay far away from that park. When the three o'clock bell rang, Rodney ran outside. He darted across the street, past Miss Jackson, the crossing guard. Walk! she yelled but he ran he ran past the corner store he ran past the bus stop then he ran past the triangle shaped patch of yellow grass and the two benches and the broken gate where the bully dog slept now he could see mama peeping out the window she opened the door and gave him a big hug i'm glad you're inside she said but outside was where ronnie wanted to be Early, very early on Friday, the old yellow bus squeaked, jerked, and rattled out of the school parking lot. Even before yeah, it reached the front uh, gate, yeah, the school bus drive down there. Yeah, it's driving. Sue Lynn and Amina were singing yeah. and playing, clapping games. Everyone was excited, uh, but uh, not a school Rodney. Bus drive. Down there. Yeah, it's driving on the street and up the hill and past the buildings. Not Rodney. He knew that when they got to the park, they would see all that he was right. Parks are no big deal. The bus turned the corner onto Second Street, but Rodney thought that the bus driver must be lost because he drove past the bus stop, past the corner store, and even past a patch of yellow grass. Sue, Lynn, and Amina kept singing and clapping. The old school bus rumbled, rolled, and creaked farther and longer than Rodney had ever been. Where's the bus going? Rodney gazed out the window. He stared at the white lines in the middle of the great highway. He counted the big trucks that passed the bus. He leaned to see the birds float above the fields of tall, green, dry grass. He watched the people in wide straw hats picking fruits and vegetables and neat rows. The old bus clanked, coughed, oh, oh, and choked. Oh. It climbed higher and higher until a great mountain swallowed it whole. At the other end of the tunnel, the mountain spit out the old bus into a flash of sunshine. No one laughed. No one talked, and no one wiggled. 
Su Lin and Amina even stopped singing. Look, everyone, Miss Gara announced. It's a park. And finally, Rodney was outside. At the park, he was higher. He was lower. He was bigger. He was smaller. He was louder. He was quieter. He was faster. He was slower. Rodney was outside, more outside than he had ever been before. Thank you, sweetie. And look at that. What's on Rodney's forehead? Yeah. Maybe a drop of water? Maybe by a fountain? The sun sank in the sky. It was time to leave. It's a tired, tired. I am tired. Some of the children chattered and giggled. Some munched on leftovers. Others dozed, went to sleep. Su Lin and Mina sang more songs. Where's Rodney? Miss Garcia asked. Rodney was sitting quietly, gazing out the window. Miss Garcia sat beside him. Do you like the park, Rodney? Do you think Rodney liked the park? I think so, too. And, and look I at this. Like the park. Park too. Yeah, he said, oh yes, he said softly. It's majestic. Can you say majestic? Majestic! Oh, say it quieter. Majestic. Majestic. Look at that. That tells you how to visit the park. And there's a picture of... Over in the elevator! Okay, Benji, that's too loud. Can you, what's the name of the book? Where's Rodney? Where's Rodney?